Okay, so I'm about to have to install a new dishwasher for my wife. It's called the Honeydew List. Um, I'm just gonna go through the step-by-step -step process to show you how to remove and install a dishwasher. Um, I just, of course, I just went and purchased it, and it's gonna it's gonna cost like 50 bucks to have it delivered and hundred dollars to get installed. So therefore, I will go pick it up and install it myself. Of course, anytime a dishwasher goes out, it will have dishes in there ready to be washed. So now we're gonna to to unload the dishes and get ready to pull it out. All right, we got the dishes out and now we've got to locate the um, brackets that basically hold the dishwasher in place so it won't slide in and out. And I'll show you where to locate those. They are located right there. This one right here is a Phillips head. There's two of them. All right. Of course, when you get ready to pull your dishwasher out, make sure you cut the water off, and then I'll show you how to disconnect the, um, the drain tube, which is important. Always also try to replace your water feed line when you're installing a new dishwasher. Right, so you can see right here, we got the water feed line. And then you got your drain tube that mine comes out and over into my garbage disposal. So what you want to do next is make sure you turn the water off and then disconnect the water feed line and then disconnect your drain tube. Pretty simple. Slow process, but pretty One simple. One thing before I take this uh, water supply line off, make sure you support the uh, plastic line because if you get on the screw and you try to undo it, it very well could break the um, water line. So just make sure you stabilize with both hands and I'll be back. Right, so the next step is make sure you put a towel down here because it's gonna have water come out of the uh, drain line and you wanna eliminate any type of questions that your wife might ask like, why is it wet down here? You don't wanna do that because then she makes it, makes it look like you failed or you have to look at something and I don't know, you just have to justify it to her and it's best to um, just go and catch the water, trust me. All right, then you gotta turn your hat around. You gotta do the cool factor look if you have an audience. So, it makes things go better. That's it. Oh, well, I was thinking brackets, or jigging brackets, at least. And after that, this fucking shit got right out. All right, all right, we'll have to turn this off for a second. Make sure when you're pulling out your dishwasher, um, as you pull it out, make sure you pull a little bit, pull the dishwasher out a little bit, and then feed your drain line and your water line through the wall, okay? Um, but make sure you catch that um, the water comes out of the drain line because it's some nasty water. And once again, your wife will say, what in the world is that smell? And then you'll have to say, I don't know. I guess it's something that I didn't clean up or something. Well, anyways, those are excuses that dig you right into that hole that you'll never get out of. So, catch the um, stinky water. All right, here we go. So I got it all undone. Make sure you unplug everything. And get ready to remove that cover. Once you remove that cover right there, the wires will be right there and you just undo the wires. All right, so it's time to remove the panel, and I want to show you my best friend right here. Her name is Sophie. She follows me around everywhere on the farm. She uh, actually keeps me safe and protects me. But anyways, let's remove the uh, front cover. Excuse me, Sophie. All right, so when I say the front cover, it's gonna be right here in front of the dishwasher, down underneath, right here. So it gives you access to the wires and stuff. All right, so once you get the cover off, you can see this thing says a warning, electrical shock, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, we've already eliminated that. And there's a screw right off right there. You pull that off and then you'll have your wires available. All right, there's the wires. Pretty simple. Just um, unscrew, unscrew them. Pull them apart. And let's see here. Can I get this? 
Why is it when you're doing something you can never find the Phillips head screwdriver? Anyway, let me find my Phillips head screwdriver and be right back. So I found my Phillips head screwdriver. Sophie had it in her mouth. She was holding it for me. All right, so if you see in this video that it's a red wire is represented as a ground. You'll see I, I put a green piece of tape on there so I can remember that this is a ground. The reason for that, this is the only wire I had in my shop when I made my pigtail. I didn't want to buy one, so I just made one for what I had. All right, you just gotta slowly pull through. There we go. It's a done deal. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right, like I said, here's your drain line. And right now, it's about halfway full of some nasty, nasty water. So what I would recommend is to stick it underneath your, your clamp right here, push that down. Cause you won't be using this again. All right, and then find you some tape, just as a safeguard, find you some tape and put it over the end of it right here. So when you remove it out of the house, you're not dragging that nasty water. All right, so at the beginning of this video, I forgot to turn my phone long way so you can have a full view, a picture of everything. So I apologize. Um, I will correct this in the future. This is like my second video. So anyways, just All right, so look out. who's home from school. G Fix 3. And watch it, look here, G. Watch this. New dishwasher for the wife. And you're, -da -da. yeah, and you're fixing to install it. What do you think about that? Okay, here we go. We installed the Romex, and we're about to pull the cords through. It's kind of what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. They don't want to come through. Yeah, I help you. And pull. Or push. Okay, it's in. There we go. Okay, so now we, you need to tighten down the Romex nuts, these uh, flathead screws. Now we are looking for the black screen. Screwdriver. It's elusive. It's always gone. Okay, so I got the screwdriver. Um, tied to the ditch. Remember, right is tidy. But you don't want to tighten it too tight, though. Okay. Right, just uh, grab your wires and hook the black to black and then the white to the white and then once you do that of course my wire here represents ground it's the only wire I had it's red but I marked it with green so we can ground it and that's it I just try to get this. That is in that drawer. As we push this through. It's okay. I'm okay. He pinched my finger. That's okay. And, um, he pulled it through. So, pull it through. Yeah, it's pulled through. Okay, here. Alright, so now you just attach the uh, drain hose to the garbage disposal. I'm trying to give y'all some light. It's perfect. All right, so now we gotta hook up the water supply. All right, so now you gotta hook up the water line.
All right, stick it to that second hole in the back back there. Second hole. This one should be easy, as you can see. It's really, really little. Mm -hmm. Really little. Dad just kind of closed me in. No, you're good. Make sure you have like no tangles in your thing, because that could make you like miscalculate. Mm -hmm. All right, you got it. All right. As far as it goes, okay. All right. Well, now we're gonna to have to hook it up to the, to the water line, and then we'll turn it on, check it, check it for it. Before you install it, make sure you uh, do all the leveling of the dishwasher, check for leaks, make sure she's plugged up, and then slide her in. Make sure it's even. The gap's gotta be even. And then install the screws into the brackets right there. Since this is MDF type of fiber wood, I would recommend just doing it by hand. Don't use a screwdriver because it's easy to over tighten. And then your screw won't tighten and your dishwasher won't stay put in place. That concludes the dishwasher installation. Make sure everything's working appropriately and everything looks like it turns on good. And then your wife should be very happy. And like I said, you get lots of hugs and kisses. G-Fix 2 is out.